So now we're able to add posts, we're getting posts by the user, we're getting a user's post feed. So we have quite a few posts here. How do we like or comment a post? Well, if we head back to our routes, you'll see that if we look at two routes for liking and unliking, we have different endpoints, but they both reference the same function. So this indicates that this toggle like function keeps track of whether a given user has liked or unliked a given post and either likes it if the user hasn't liked the post or unlikes it if the user's previously liked it. So let's implement toggle like. We'll head to our post controller and this will be async. To toggle like we'll simply pass the post ID from the request body of the post that we want to like or unlike. First we'll find a post according to that ID. So we'll use find one and the return value will be post. Then from post we'll have the array of likes from the path post.likes and since we know that user IDs, the under underscore ID values aren't normal strings, we need to convert them to a string. So to convert all the IDs in array in an array to string values we need to iterate over post.likes and we'll use the map function for that. So for every ID we're going to convert the ID to a string with the toString method and the return value for this, the return array from map will be like IDs. Now we'll want to compare the elements in this array, the strings in this array now, with our currently authenticated users ID. So we'll also need to convert their ID from an object to a string. So we can say const auth user ID equals request dot user dot underscore ID and we can use the two string method here as well. Now we'll check with a conditional if like IDs includes so we can now use string methods, native JavaScript string methods with these IDs. You can say if like IDs includes auth user ID, we're going to await post.likes.pull. We're going to remove the auth user ID from the like IDs array if we've previously liked it before in order to unlike it. So pull auth user ID. Otherwise, we're going to, with post.likes, we're going to push onto the array auth user ID. So we previously looked at pull and push as operators, but they're also available on the returned object from our find one call. They're available as methods. And then at the very end, after we've performed pull or push, we can save it with post.save. We can say res.json and send the post. So now let's try liking a given post. I'll take the one with the text hi there. We'll grab its ID. Make sure you're not grabbing the ID from the object posted by. So we want to first like a post. So we'll use the endpoint API slash post slash like. And this will be a put request since we're going to update the post that we're liking. The body will use raw JSON data. We'll pass through the post ID, we'll paste that in, and we'll hit send. So our user ID for our currently auth user is added to the likes array. And if we change this endpoint to unlike, we see that their ID is removed. And even if we were to accidentally call unlike again when we meant to call like, no matter what the logic is on the client side, I'll just hit send again with unlike. We're always going to only add for a given user their ID to the likes array once or not at all. <laughs>